Richard Southern, of course, joins us to chat about some of the day's more interesting and unusual stories. And Richard, there's always uh, that one guy in every group who dreams of proposing at a ball game. Well, that isn't always a good idea. No, speaking of love hurting, uh, Erica, this is a video from earlier in the week in Massachusetts. A minor league ball game was going on. In between innings, a dude got up on the dugout and proposed to his girlfriend. First, she looks excited, but then she made a beeline out of there, oh, Erica. No. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of different angles on this one. There she is looking shocked at first. You think it's going well. And then she says, no, no. Apparently, she can be heard saying, I have to go repeatedly. <gasps> oh, no. Now, sympathy for this guy, Erica, quickly turned to suspicion. Some people thought her reaction was too quick and that he didn't seem too upset. So there's been some allegations it's fake. I've looked at it a few times. I actually think this is real. What do you, do you, what do you think, Erica? I don't, maybe she was overwhelmed because it's kind of a lot of pressure to put on somebody when everybody's watching you uh, to do something or say something. So maybe she just got kind of flustered and said, I have to go. I got to get out of here, right? It's not very romantic to propose either at the baseball game, I don't think. Not my idea. Like, I love proposal? baseball, but yeah. no. No, I don't think Keep so. Keep those two things separate, you know? Mm -hmm. Baseball is baseball. We're trying to watch the game here, Erica. <laughs> Come on. All right. Okay. There are some strict quarantine COVID 19 measures in place in parts of Australia right now, and one woman got pretty creative trying to get around them. Yeah, they make you stay in the hotel, you know, if you've been traveling or if you're sick and all that. So one woman was forced to quarantine in her Crown Plaza hotel room. She, you know, you had dinner and all that. But there's one thing she couldn't do without, apparently, her cigarettes. But she fixed that. She had a drone deliver a pack of cigarettes. This is the video, Erica. Apparently, there was a guy down on the street that she had helping her with this. He flew up a pack of darts to her hotel room. Uh, one of the hotel workers, though, caught it on video and the woman was charged $1,300. The dude on the street might also face penalties. I guess, you know, it's nice in that you get your, your, your cable TV, you get your food in quarantine, but you need your smoke, some people, I guess. I guess, but that's uh, quite exp like quite a price to pay for that one cigarette, right? Okay. That's expensive. <laughs> and finally, a young driver in Massachusetts has destroyed something quite valuable, all in the name of saving local wildlife. So 19 year old girl, she was driving around uh, the street there just south of uh, Boston uh, in Massachusetts and she saw a squirrel pop out out of nowhere. So she instinctively swerved to avoid it. What did she end up doing though? She crashed into a house that was owned by the uh, by uh, Abraham Lincoln's ancestors. <gasps> Erica. Oh, no. This house, this house was built in 1650 by the great grandfather of U.S. President Lincoln. It served as the home for seven generations of Lincoln ancestors until now the 19 year old plows her Audi into the side of it. The house received uh, ser serious damages. She received only minor injuries and was cited for not staying within the lines. I mean, you want to save the poor squirrel, right? But yeah. I mean, the squirrel you know. saved the, the life. A little life is saved, so I guess that's. You're, you're happy about. I knew you're happy about the yeah, squirrel, right, Eric? I'm happy you about care the squirrel about being saved. Well, I mean, it can be restored, <laughs> hopefully, right? You're uh, right. You're yeah. right. Okay, uh, Richard. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.